Very cool. Love it. Okay, now, in the interest of my sanity, I am going to briefly talk about what the fuck is going on in Turkey. Okay? Uh, I, these fucking Turks have lost their goddamn minds. They're freaking out. There is a prestigious uh, university called Boziçi University, the Bosphorus College. Okay? And apparently there was some artwork... There was some artwork uh, that uh, someone drew, and I'm going to show you what the fucking artwork is. It's this, I think, Scottish which is uh, Kabe. Extremely live and stuck on the one kid who killed himself. And and this was death. like apparently extremely controversial by uh, because Islamists thought, or like uh, very very uh, conservative uh, religious freaks thought that this was uh unacceptable and really fucked up and uh sacrilegious dog. okay i guess because of like the trans pride and be pride is there even an ace flag in there is that what's going on do religious people even know what these flags represent i'm confused by that anyway Yüksek ihtimal Müslüman LGBT yaptı zaten. Yeah, some uh, probably like a like a gay uh, Muslim person uh, drew this. Years, Robin Hood is not gonna move the needle kick. Saying like Allah says ace representation matters. You know what I mean? That's that's wild. Wild to me that that is something that took place. Um, that like you know, people would know and get upset about that is hilarious to me. I'm sorry. Like. I'm just picturing some fucking, like, psycho Turkish dude who, like, went through the process of trying to understand what these flags are. He's like, Amuna koyayım ne? Bir dakika ya, bu böyle, bu böyle renkli renkli ne lan bu? Aseksüel mi? Ay, ananı sikerim ha, ne aseksüeli? Like, just fucking learning about the, the flags and, like, whipping themselves up in, in anger. Like, just getting progressively angrier as he's, like, learning about the fucking... Uh, different flags of what they mean. You know what I mean? Just to get mad at it. Because th there's no fucking way you see this and you think, wow, this is so fucked up on its face. Hold on. You know what I mean? Like, you had to literally go out and learn what it means so you could get mad at it, okay? And at that point, you're like, what the fuck are you doing, bro? So that's me that's a uh, Kabe, and um, the prestigious Istanbul University is fighting Erdogan's reach. Students of the professor of Boğaziçi University, one of Turkey's most well-known institutions, are protesting Recep Tayyip Erdogan's appointment of a new rector. Jokes on him! I'm too stupid to know what's happening. So, by the way, I'm still holding and just ate a crayon. So you saying the Nazi flag is okay? What? Okay, see, this is what I mean. Like, this is like I'm not gonna fucking talk to this dude. Like, get the fuck out of here, dude. <laughs> like, <laughs> dude, shut the fuck up, idiot. Anyway, yeah. Uh, for several weeks, uh, rain, shine, or even snow, a rebellion has been underway, and uh, a rebellion was occurring in my fucking chat as well every day. There's this new rector in uh, Boziçi University who's like a Erdogan guy. Okay. And they were protesting. They've been protesting it. Okay? They've been protesting uh, this this uh, appointment. They've been protesting by yelling at me for not covering it for the past month or so. Um, and everyday faculty members are standing on the main lawn in socially distanced silent protest. Their backs turned to the office of the rector, who's appointed by moon. President Recep Tayyip Erdogan. They oppose. Traditionally, the university academics elect the rector who controls much of the life, life in the university from their own ranks. By naming an outside appointee to his liking, Mr. Erdogan has set a battle for control of one of Turkey's institutional jewels. And it's one of the best universities, as I've said already. It's like literally the GOAT institution in, uh, in Turkey. Uh, and it's a very old institution. And of course, the college students are pretty fucking progressive. Uh, in comparison to the rest of the country. Uh, the dude's name is Milih Bulu, a businessman known for his ties with Mr. Erdogan's Justice and Development Party, AK Party, AKP. 
Uh, he, was an he was an unsuccessful election candidate for the party several years ago. Has been seen as one more step Mr. Erdogan has taken to extend his influence over every aspect of Turkish social and cultural life. Okay. What? <sighs> anyway. Um, Erdogan amassed sweeping power since the failed coup in 2016, as you all know. Some of you know that already. Martial law, yada, yada, yada. Changing the constitution with a referendum and turning it into a presidential system rather than a parliamentary one. Uh, all that. And this was seen as the final straw. And I guess in the protests that were being held... In built differently, in built differently. In the protests uh, being held, this is the only thing I could fucking find uh, uh, that's like recent... Turkey holds four over out artwork depicting Islam holy site hung at Bozic University. In the protest being held, they drew that, the thing I showed you. Where the fuck is it? This. And that really uh, it, it pissed people off. And uh, four people were detained for openly denigrating the religious values adopted by a section of the public. Politics, let's pass and the police are on the hunt so for two others, describing the artwork as an ugly Bowl attack Network. on Islam. Turkish Interior Minister Suleyman Soylu said in a tweet Saturday that four LGBT deviants had been detained. Hassle. Move it! <laughs> bro, this shit is... Yo, Turks literally always tell me, like... Bro, don't cover this stuff. Don't cover this stuff. You're embarrassing us to the international community, right? Like, they always say, like, oh, no, Allah, I'm gonna call the dollar, dollar, get the dollar, what are all the alijak, yeah, on dollar, on alijak, on alijak, I'm gonna call him. Each piece on PlayStation, I'm gonna call him. And then you make me cover this story, which is the most embarrassing thing. It is so sad that, like, there is a fucking minister of, of, the, the Turkish interior minister that is like literally saying LGBT deviants are doing this. You know what I mean? Like that's, there, there's nothing, there's nothing more embarrassing or sad than this. The artwork, which according to the Istanbul governate, uh, governor, governorate also included a rainbow flag, a symbol associated with the LGBT community. See, even fucking El Arabia doesn't know what the other flags are. They don't know. They saw the LGBT flag and they were like, oh, what is this, some gay shit? Like, they, they don't even know that, like, it goes beyond that, my guy. It's not even just LGBT. Anyway. The governor, uh, yeah. Uh, blah, blah, blah, blah, blah, blah, blah, blah, governor, it also included a rainbow flag, a symbol associated with the LGBT community. It was hung opposite the rector's office Friday at Boston University, the governor, it said. Uh, in a move swiftly condemned by Turkish officials, like, why? The disrespect shown to the Kaaba was neither freedom of expression nor the right to protest. Turkish President Recep Tayyip oh, Erdogan's spokesman, inside. Ibrahim Kalan, tweeted, he vowed, he vowed Saturday that this deviance will get punishment and deserves before the law. So, this is fucking bullshit, okay? This is fucking bullshit. Suck my fucking dick. I cannot believe that they're losing their minds over some shit that they don't even know what the fucking meaning is, because... Someone depicted the Kaaba this way. Okay? What an embarrassing fucking thing to do. You are supposed to be a world leader. You are in charge of one of the world's largest fucking economies. There's 90 million motherfuckers living in Turkey. And this is what you're going to get whipped up in a frenzy over? Fuck you. So fucking dumb, dude. What a bunch of piece of shit, conservative psychopaths. Who the fuck lives this way, dude? Seriously. Absolute... Detest, just disgusting behavior, dude. Absolutely fucking disgusting behavior. Me so I can buy party sandwiches for the super. Now, Bowl of course, uh, you know, uh, a cab all the way. Let's take a look at uh, what's going on now in Istanbul. So, the the students have still been protesting. Uh, ongoing protests are, are occurring. So here's some video footage of what the cops were doing uh, recently. Actually, if I, if I'm not mistaken, this is from like yesterday or today. So the cop is yelling at these people that are quietly moving to the streets. 
that look like students saying that, which means uh, uh, shameless. Uh, those who have no shame. Now he's yelling, look on the ground, look to the ground. Hayvan oğlu hayvan, orospu çocukları Allah belanızı versin köpek oğlu köpekler. Tam ayı, tam ayı Allah cezanı vermesin hayvan. Ya hayvan, tam hayvan. Eşek oğlu eşek. So in order to in order to like uh, apprehend people, they're saying like you gotta look on the ground, you gotta look on the ground, and they're like they're trying to fucking they're trying to clap people that way. It's just animals, okay? They are they are uh, dogs. That's what they are. <laughs> Um, hogs, dogs, they're just pieces of shit. Well, it, when you say dogs in Turkish, köpek, it's like, uh, that's more, that's more frequent. Or donkey, son of donkey, eşek oğlu eşek, ayı oğlu ayı, bear, son of bear. That so-called art was made just to provocate nothing more? So what, motherfucker? It's not like they depicted fucking Muhammad, uh, you know, uh, naked or some shit. You can't fucking draw the goddamn Kaaba too? There's no fucking... There is no part of Islam that dictates that you can't fucking draw the Kaaba, okay? Suck my cock. That art is meant to provocate nothing more. Fuck you. It's literally in line with Islamic teachings. Shut the fuck up, my ass. If the existence of, of uh, gay people is like considered to be denigrating your religion, then you gotta fucking reevaluate your religion. I defend religious freedom every goddamn day. I defend Muslims specifically being attacked every goddamn fucking day. But when you have possibly another Muslim uh, artist who is expressing their belief this way, you are doing nothing but showing the, the reality that, like, you know, your opinion over Islam is about hurting other people. Your only interest in Islam is as far as it hurts others. So fuck you. You're not a good Muslim. You're not a good person. And you will rot in Jahannam, okay? That's where you're going, motherfucker. If you think that, like, if you think that your version of Islam does not feature uh, any sort of like uh, anyone who, who you declare to be uh, anyone you declare to be sinful, then you yourself are uh, a fucking sinful and going to burn in Jahannam, okay? Fucking bullshit. Isn't Western Turkey super secular? Do they now have a lot of support among populists? No, Istanbul is super secular for the most part. I, no, these Turkey is a secular nation. Uh, there are definitely some fucking ultra conservatives out there, but now 159 uh, Boğaziçi University students have been detained for protesting Erdogan appointed rector uh, in Turkey. Dedikleri doğru ama sonuç olarak insanların dini görüşlerine yapılmış bir hakaret var. Bunu nasıl normal karşılıyorsun da LGBT'ye bu kadar tepki gösteriyorsun? İkisi de aynı saygısızlık sayılır. Ne? Haşami yalan, yavşak pezemek. Ne diyorsun? LGBT'nin existence'ı... E, ne? Nasıl böyle gerizekalı bir laf edebilirsin sen ya? İnanamıyorum yani. Buraya gelip niye böyle konuşuyorsun abi? Salak mısın sen? Ben ne zaman... Ben ne zaman... Uh, LGBT uh, insanların uh, insanlara karşı böyle uh, yaşamaları veyahut da LGBT posterini Kabe'nin etrafına koymanın hakaret olacağını söyleyeceğimi zannettin ki yani ne zaman? Niye böyle gerizekalı bir uh, dünya görüşüm var seni anlamıyorum. Vay, resmen İngilizceden Türkçe'ye çeviriyorum artık hiç düzgün konuşamıyorum Türkçe. Vay amana koyayım unuttuk yani resmen Türkçe'yi vay anasını. Uf.
if it's disrespectful to have a fucking LGBT flag in a picture that depicts the Kaaba, then your worldview is just so distorted, dude. Okay? And once again, is there a it's the fucking, it's the fucking cultural, uh, it's the conservatives, okay? That's what it is. It's the conservative Muslims that are the problem, not Islam itself specifically. But unfortunately in Turkey, Islam is seen as uh, represented exclusively by very, very uh, uh, religious and very conservative zealots. So forcing a relief to others is wrong, but the opposite is wrong? Wait, what? Forcing a relief to others? The central image is, is the, the, the Kaabe. Like, this is the Islamic holy site. Mecca. Right? Isn't that it? Thanks for the Isn't it content. supposed to be a depiction of Kaabe? Or... Yeah. It's not even the LGBT flag. Yeah, there's like different variations, but like there's like trans pride flag and shit. How do we turn on subtitles for when you speak Turkish? And the the example I can use is basically like fucking yeah, as someone also pointed out, Christian conservatives making abortion illegal in Poland. Or Donald Trump and, like, Republicans fucking utilizing Christianity or a bastardized depiction of Christianity to fucking advocate for harming others and further marginalizing marginalized groups and minority groups in the country. That's all this is. Okay? <laughs> Turkey, historically, has had a very similar secular approach to Islam as Americans do to Protestant Christianity. Okay? Like... That was the, the dominant approach to Islam, both in Turkey and even in the fucking Ottoman Empire. Very progressive overall in comparison to uh, other versions of, of uh, you know, demonstrating uh, your Islamic belief. Nine months has smelled. Okay? That's, that's literally how it used to be. And uh, in, a, in a populist fervor, Erdogan did a similar thing that Donald Trump did, but very successfully in Turkey and assumed control of, uh, of the Turkish government with AKP. And he did it side by side with Fethullah Gülen as well, originally, who, and they're, they're no longer fucking tight. They're no longer homies. Fethullah Gülen is a CIA asset and, um, and has schools all around the world. And the CIA and the American State Department love Fethullah Gülen because they think that he promotes a more tolerant approach to Islam, even though he is a fucking zealot too. Okay? Just like you? What? Of course, just because Turkey is secular doesn't mean that, like, contemporary secular Turks weren't, like, anti-LGBT. There was certainly anti-LGBT and, like, reactionary fucking takes in Turkey that, that predates uh, even Erdogan. Like, don't get me wrong. Um, but... Anyway, that's, um... Director C plus P his thesis, which is what got them so mad in the first place. Well, but this is pure provocation from Erdogan to like rile up the country. It seems like that's the last thing I'll say is that uh, Recep Tayyip Erdogan is is doing this to rile the fucking country up, agitate, maintain a control over his diminishing base, 
as his base has been chipped away from the comfortable 52% all the way down in the past 20 years to like, I think, a coalition that barely fucking puts together uh, the, the majority uh, with Mehepe, with the likes of those fucking ultra-nationalist pig dogs uh, over in uh, the Mehepe party. Those are the ultimate cucks. Uh, even in, in some ways worse than fucking uh, Erdogan because they are supposed to be the good conservatives. So... Anyway, that's what's going on in Turkey. There you go. Hassle. Okay. Stop of the hour, every hour. It's time for a six-second ad break. We're going to continue on with some news uh, after that. Uh, I forgot to run the ad beforehand, uh, but... Man, there's a lot of shit going on. There's a lot of stuff going on. Maybe we'll we'll do some like shorter reacts. U.S. veterans arrested for the role in the Capitol insurrection. There's one. I don't know, but I gotta run an ad right now. If you no longer want to see the ads, all you need to do is subscribe, ladies and gentlemen. You can do it for $5 uh, yeah, or for like free with a Twitch Prime by connecting your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account. Here's the motherfucking ad. Now, here it is. Combat is admittedly superior against the Lionel, but if you hit its face with an...